Hi there, my name is Conan Burke and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of Soul Gambler, a visual novel adventure indie game. Uh, the developer is Ilex, Ilex Games, publisher is GameStorming. came out in 2013, it's got very positive reviews and it's currently got £2 on Steam. It's got single player, Steam achievements and trading cards, it's for English and Portuguese, Brazil. Um, Windows 7, and I played it on Windows 10, it was fine. Um, and it puts you in the role of Faust, F-A-U-S-T. An ordinary young man living in the present day whose destiny is about to be changed forever. Um, so it's it's an interesting game. I have played the whole thing. Um, the at, the at the very beginning you um, you don't really know what's going on. Basically, <laughs> uh, you have this um, uh, like a point system style. You've got health, manipulation, intelligence, and charisma. Charisma, I think it's called. And I was like, well, what do I do here? And I had some points. I just whacked any old stuff on. I can't remember what I put on. I think I might put health on and maybe intelligence. I can't remember. But you, this is why each game will, even though it's a short game, you could probably change it each time. So you can maybe stick health on very strong. And maybe intelligence or love or whatever. But I can't remember what I put. But I kind of like just went, yeah, yeah, I'll do this. And because I didn't know what it was, I thought, oh, maybe I'll gain some more points. And so basically, as you're going through your um, your story, each um, action that you do, each each choice, determines how much of your soul is going to be um, available. So if you do something really, really good, um, depending on your original points that you picked and what you actually pick, your soul might drop so you, you might say well uh, if you were uh, like the, say, say there's a woman there was one that's the the woman leaves and says well I'll tell you what 10% of your soul I'll bring it back and you think okay well 10% that's not much because it's not like it's a, a value it is 100% and then 10% you think well 10% I'll take that that's fine and then she comes back if it gives away um, sometimes it might go up as in you might get it back uh, but sometimes you might lose it all and so you've got to kind of be careful. It's like, well, what would you do if you could sell some of your soul do anything in, in any, any day's life? You know, I don't know. Would you sell your soul for 50% to win a million quid on the lottery? For example. I mean, would you? I don't know. Maybe a bit more, I think, in this day and age. Um, I mean, money, not soul. <clears throat> Uh, the graphics are cool. Uh, I had to turn the volume of the uh, music down because it was just driving me mental. It was the same thing continuously in each. Um, like as I, if I was on in the pub or something, it was the same music, and it kind of like felt like I was on a broken record, going around did 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 him, did 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 him, did did and it was like oh my god. So I had to turn that off at certain points. But then you playing the game, and you can't hear anything. So which do you prefer? Um, and the the graphics are quite good. It's like a, a cartoony kind of thing, um, and so it's, there is a story. And uh, again, it depends what influence, uh, what what you um, not influence, what what choices you make influences the next part of the game. So it isn't just purely. I can only pick this one. I got better intelligence when I first started. Therefore, I'm gonna have this. It's like, well, I've got three choices. Which one do I pick? Oh, I don't know. I pick that one, and it just changes. So that's why you could probably play this game quite a few times, I would say. Um, do I recommend it? Yeah. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's quite cheap. What, £2? Pound? I mean, sale, it probably dropped down a lot more. Um, and remember, it is a shortish game, so you could play it a couple of times. And enjoy it. I mean, it's, it's just it's just a really interesting game. It's something I've never played before. I would say it's this kind of thing. But I've played games that influence certain things. Obviously, there's certain games that you can play where whatever you do, the choice influences the next part of the game. But this is also based on what you pick at the very beginning, your point system, which I didn't know anything about until I realised halfway through. I was like, ah, oh, bugger. 
Anyway, um, hopefully if you've enjoyed watching this game review of uh, Soul Gambler, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, and leave a comment in the comments box below. Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.